What's up everyone, Ronix with it and after all. and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how I color grade my images in just Photoshop. So you're just going to be using Photoshop and the camera raw filter to color grade this image to have those nice and beautiful skin tones uh, for this particular image. So first of all, the very first step I do for my color grading is to create a copy or a copy out of the background there by hitting Ctrl or Command J if at all you haven't done any adjustments. And if at all you want to color grade after you have done skin retouching and you have all those layers, you can simply hit Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard or Shift Alternate Command E on the keyboard. So for my case, I'm just going to hit Control J to create this layer and you can name it whatever you want. So right now I'm going to come to Filter and I'm going to come to the Camera Raw Filter. So when you come to the Camera Raw Filter, what you have to notice when you color grading, you have to take into consideration the colors in this image so for this case the colors we're going to be dealing with are the yellows that are embedded in the skin tones and maybe a little bit of oranges and some reds right here so that is what we're going to be dealing uh, with this particular image so first of all i prefer to come under the calibration and i play around with this slider it is really important and it is really a magical tool for your color grading so when I come to the red primary channel or slider, I prefer to uh, reduce on the saturation of the image to around negative 10. And when it comes to the green primary, when you play around with the saturation point, you can see what it does. So it adds more greens to the image. So I just want to eliminate the greens too from this particular portrait to around negative 5. And when it comes to the blue primary, I first of all want to play with these sliders, the bottom sliders or the saturation for this image. And since I don't have any blues in this image, I'm just going to knock down the saturation to mute down on the colors in the skin tone. So you can see the before and the after for this particular image. So when it comes to the hues of these colors, for example, the red primary, if at all I turn the red primary all the way up, it is going to add uh, more greens to the image and all the way down it adds magenta. So you have to take into consideration that too. So basically I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, the magentas to the image to around negative 8. And also play around with the green primary. So when you turn it down, you have more greens in the image. And all the way up, it adds uh, magentas to the image. So basically, it goes like this. So it is like this kind of S format. Like when you move towards this side, uh, you get more magentas. So meaning the magentas are going to be here. And when you have this and this side, you're also going to get a little bit of the greens. So basically, that is how it uh, works. So I'm just going to... Uh, reduce on the green to around negative 4 so you can see where we started and where we are right now we have just gotten rid of those colors and we are getting a color close to the skin tones of this particular model so you can see the before and after but all i click on this eye icon so the very next step i pre i prefer to do for my color grading is coming to the hsl panel so basically the hsl panel is more of the hue saturation and luminous so under hues uh, we have uh, we change colors up according to their opposites so you can see at the opposite of yellow yellows will be hued to the green side and the red is going to be hued to the oranges so basically this two comes to this format so since we have oranges here so if you hue the reds you come to the oranges and when you, so meaning if at all we are hewing the reds and we come to the oranges, the next color has to be the oranges and we, we hew it to the yellows. So meaning the next color is going to be the yellows. And when we, we hew the yellows, they turn to green and that's why we have green as the next color. So it goes in this S format too. So that is what you have to know about uh, the hue option. And the saturation is basically, you have to include or decrease on a particular color in the image. And luminous is more of uh, the lightness or darkness of a particular color. 
For example, we have oranges. If at all I turn the oranges up, it's going to be lightening up the oranges. And when I turn it down, it's going to be darkening the oranges in uh, this particular image. So I'm just going to, first of all, play around with the hues of, uh, rather the luminance of the oranges. Since I have oranges in this image, I'm just going to knock down the oranges just a little bit around uh, negative 16, can do. And since I have hued down that, I'm going to come under the saturation option and slightly knock down on the oranges in this image to around negative 3. And since I want to eliminate on the magentas all the reds in the image, I'm going to come the hues. And I'm going to hue the reds towards uh, the oranges. So I'm just going to move it towards the orange side to around a 4. And you can see the before and after so far for this particular image. And now what we want to do again, we are going to come to the saturation of the oranges and uh, drop down the saturation of the yellows in the image. Remember, our skin tones uh, don't usually have do those yellows. So I'm going to come back to the luminous and knock down the reds a little bit for this image. And I feel like the oranges are still too light. So I'm just going to knock it down a little bit more. And now you can see what we have so far, the before and the after for this image. And we have colors that are close to the original skin tones of the model. So right now I want to share with you guys the secret to my color grading. So I'm just going to come all the way up. So I feel like this image needs some little bit of greens uh, embedded into it. So I'm just going to come to the tint option. I'm just going to move this slider. So the opposite of magentas, I feel like I can see some magentas. The opposite of magentas is green. So I'm just going to move towards the green side. So basically click and move it towards uh, the green side. And I feel like it is a little bit warm and I'm just going to move the temperature a little bit down and call it a trial negative too. So you can see the before and after so far. So right now, my secret to color grading images is eye and teeth whitening. I know this image is not as striking enough as it is meant to be because uh, both the eyes and teeth are still within the color range of uh, the skin tone. So if at all you give these eyes a white boost or you whiten them even more you're going to be getting a very nice and popping image but this is not the end of my color grading process for those who are about to uh, switch off from this tutorial because you're going to go into the selective color and the contrast options in photoshop to do more color grading of this particular image so stick around and we do that so for my eye whitening I prefer to come to the adjustment brush tool and in order to whiten the eyes you have to notice the color in the white area of the eye so for this case we have uh, some kind of oranges and we have yellows and some kind of greens to this white area of uh, the eye so in order to eliminate that you have to go with the opposites of those colors in the eye so if at all I want to eliminate the yellows, I'm just going to come the temperature option and move the temperature towards the opposite of yellow, which is blue. So I'm going to leave it around negative 24. And since I have some greens in the white area, I'm just going to move towards the opposite of green, which is the magentas, to eliminate the greens to around 64. And since I want the eyes to pop, I'm just going to push up the highlights around 4 and the whites to around 4. So right now, I want to eliminate most of the colors that may be remaining in this white area of the eye. So what I'm going to be doing basically, I'm going to come under the saturation. I'm just going to drop down the saturation. So don't take it all the way down because it's going to give you a natural resource for your eye and teeth whitening. Just move it a little bit at around negative 62. And when you're done doing that, you're going to have set your brush. So basically start clicking. So you left click and paint over the white area just like that. I hope you can see how and what I'm doing to this image. So you can see right now the image is not as striking, but when you add that eye whitening, it really uh, gives the image more dimension. So I'm just going to 
hold down the space bar and click to move and come to this other eye and do the eye whitening too so just like that and come and do the same for the teeth just a little bit so you have to be careful not paint over the lipstick and when you do paint over the lipstick always make sure that you get your eraser or erase tool and you erase the effect from those areas so you can see now the image has really changed dramatically and now I feel like it is a little bit warm that is why I told you that that is my secret or my secret ingredient for my color grading so I feel like it is warm and I'm just going to drop down the temperature even more to negative 4 and simply hit OK. So when I hit OK, you can see the before and the after, before and after for uh, the color grading process uh, in just camera row. So right now we're going to be dealing with the color grading in Photoshop. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to come to the selective color option. So what this does, it you work with colors uh, selectively or individually. So if at all I come to the reds of the image and I knock down the yellows all the way down, it is going to eliminate uh, the yellows from the image and it is going to introduce uh, magentas into the image. So I'm just going to leave it uh, to around negative six and also come to the yellows. Remember at the start of this tutorial, I told you guys you have to notice the colors in your image so that you can tweak them around or play around with them. So I'm going to come the yellows and I'm also going to uh, reduce on the amount of yellow in the yellows just a little bit to around negative three. So if at all you want to darken the yellows, you can simply turn the blacks up and it is going to add that kind of uh, dramatic feel. So I'm just going to uh, darken it uh, a little bit more to around six. And I feel like uh, this is really getting to be a nice and lovely image. So the other tip or secret I use is the blacks option. So what the blacks uh, really does is, so you drop down and select the blacks. You can intensify the darks or the blacks in the image. You can see how that affects the image. So you can even use this tool to darken the blacks. Maybe you have been moving the shadows all the way up in the image and it has made uh, the blacks a little bit grayish. You can use this option to darken those blacks. So for this case, for beauty portraits, I prefer to add just a little bit at around two. And since I want to add that kind of popping feel, I prefer to move uh, the yellows, all blacks to the yellow side to create that kind of cinematic kind of uh, look to the image. So just like that. So I'm just going to come to the contrast option and I'm going to activate use legacy and just move up the contrast to add uh, more vibrance to the image. But since it is affecting the overall image, I'm going to come to the vibrance option and I'm going to uh, reduce on the vibrance of this particular image just a little bit. And I feel like uh, this is all for the color grading of this particular image. So let me show you guys the before and after for this portrait. So if I hold down the alternate key and click on this eye icon, you can see this is where we started the before. And this is the after, before, after, before and after. So this is how I color grade my images in Photoshop. And if I told you have loved this story, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if I told you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, and I'll see you in yet another tutorial. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep color grading.